Well, have you heard about this? More than 50% of African American teens are actually embracing abstinence. It is a significant increase from just 20 years ago, and celebrity role models like Megan Good and Russell Wilson's public declarations to wait until marriage are contributing to that increase. Yeah, it is definitely an upward trend. Karen Greer shows us how a local program is also helping by giving young girls the confidence to wait. Sex sells, and not just to adults. From lingerie to body wash, even hamburgers, brands are increasingly marketing sexy to teens. The Southwest patty melt with jalapenos. And while teens report losing their virginity as early as 12, not everybody's doing it. In my generation, a lot of people feel like giving their bodies up isn't really like a big deal. In my generation, girls just see it as like another thing that everybody does. Not 16 year old Aaliyah. She recently took a pledge of abstinence until marriage. I can show my friends that you don't have to sell yourself short or you don't have to, you know, sleep with people in order to, I guess, feel like you fit in with everybody else. She's not alone. Two of my friends are waiting till marriage. So when I told them, they were like, yes, that's good. I'm glad you're doing that. Caitlin and Aaliyah joined 12 other Metro Atlanta young ladies saying vows of purity during a candlelight ceremony in front of each other and their male supporters. I make a commitment to God myself. The ceremony is a culmination of a nine month mentoring program teaching young African American girls about healthy relationships. They are bold enough to take a stand for what they believe in. Lisa Smith founded Elite Women of Excellence 17 years ago as a way to boost her oldest daughter's confidence about standing strong in her convictions. We're looking at principles. We believe that that's the truth that really stands and sets the stage and so it is not, it's not compromising. Abstinence may seem like an outdated concept in these modern times, but the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says not so. At one time, Georgia had the highest teen pregnancy rate in the country, but in the last 20 years, it's dropped more than 60%, ranking 19th in the country. This organization has really helped, I think, to change the narrative from and, and to create more positive associations between fathers and, and daughters and husbands and wives. Seth Freeman says the program has helped deepen his relationship with his daughter, Sierra. This is really about her decision, which is enabled by the support um, of me as her father, as her family and loved ones. Uh, and this public declaration of, uh, of, of keeping herself pure um, is just an awesome declaration. While the program has a 99% success rate, against teen pregnancy, oh, Smith acknowledges to sticking to the pledge isn't easy. And we have had girls that have fallen off of the wagon, but still have come back and say, you know what, this is something that you want to do. But elite women goes beyond premarital abstinence. There's also a focus on career, community service, and a sisterhood of support that will last a lifetime. It's just going to propel me forward and further in life just from being a part of this program. More than 1,400 girls have participated in this program already, which also works with at-risk high school students in Cobb County. For CBS 46 News, I'm Karen Greer. Maybe we'll figure out what the boys are doing too, right? Maybe, maybe that'll be something else too. We want to hear about the positive things happening in our community. You can share your stories with us on the powerful CBS 46 News app. Click on Positively Georgia.